for that timeless creed that sums up the inquiring thirst behind every bright pair of eyes. I want to know. I want to know more. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first ever video of this phenomenon. It is, of course, well known that potassium reacts violently with water to release hydrogen, but it was trying to work out why this reaction explodes that first raised an eyebrow for me. That just shouldn't happen. This reaction can only take place as fast as the chemicals can mix, and look, you can see, the metal and the water don't mix. They're immiscible. The reaction can only take place on the surface. You just can't get explosions out of reactions like that. No, there's something else going on here, and I want to know. So we start small with 250 milligrams of potassium, about the size of an aspirin tablet. Initially, the hydrogen burns with a nice, clean, smoke-free flame, but as the temperature rises, the potassium gets hot enough to give off white smoke, suggesting that the metal is burning. Now, that can only happen when there's a significant vapor pressure of potassium. You know, just like with hot water, there's lots of water vapor above it. Well, same thing here, apart from it's the potassium evaporating. So what the hell does this look like from underneath, where there is no oxygen for it to burn in? Well, when it gets warm, it gets green. Really green. But maybe that's just something to do with that purple flame on top that's due to the change in the electronic states of the potassium ion. Maybe something related to that. Well, okay, I can remove virtually all of the oxygen and we can try it again. Now we can see what it's like when there's no oxygen for that hydrogen to burn in, when there's no potassium vapor to burn, and now we can see that green gas on top of the metal. Green gas. How the hell do you get green gas off a metal? But it gets better. Invariably, just before this metal explodes, it gets incandescent, glowing somewhere between red and yellow. That's somewhere in the region of 500 to 1,000 degrees Celsius. But the strange thing is, when it gets that hot, it loses the green gas. Now, how can that be? Well, the green gas is almost certainly potassium vapour of some sort. This is an old description of the distillation of potassium. A mixture of potassium carbonate with charcoal is placed in an iron retort and brought under an intense red heat in a furnace. The liberated metal distills over as a greenish vapour. And from, would you believe it, the 1911 version of Encyclopaedia Britannica. It fuses at 63 degrees Celsius and boils at 667, emitting an intensely green vapour. But that raises an even more interesting question. And if it really is potassium gas being evolved, why does that green colour appear to vanish as the metal gets hotter? Shouldn't it increase? Well, I have maybe an explanation for that, and some further experiments that could test that explanation. Such critical experiments as what's the colour of sodium and rubidium vapour? However, I'll be putting that up on my blog over the next few days. But I can already hear people saying, what about cesium? That's an interesting question. Cesium, the most reactive of the alkali metals. Cesium that can do this. Well, I've got a teaser question for you. Which will release more energy? Seven grams of lithium reacting with water. Now, you may have been allowed to mix very small amounts of lithium with water or 130 grams of cesium reacting with water. Warning! 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 Extreme danger! Clear the area! As our cesium sinks in the water, the rapid generation of hydrogen gas should produce quite an explosion. And it does. And I know this is like telling people that Santa Claus doesn't exist, but lithium wins. Now, I know a lot of jaws have just hit the ground in disbelief there, saying there's no possible way that can be right. You might as well tell me that the sky is orange. Well, reality is no respecter of myths. But to find out why it's a myth, and why it's so pervasive, for that, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait for the next episode. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of this video, or have an interest in becoming a sponsor of this channel, please contact me by the links below.